But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean, like, in a dream, almost. really gone. Okay, then. Hey, where did all the seashells go? Why would he notice that? I didn't notice that. I mean, what is he doing? That's nasty. Oh, what's that smell? Dad? Son? Uh, At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one of To start. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly. Or the whole batch will be ruined. So you need some litmus paper, is what he's saying. I wish I could do more to help Alex fix his ship. Well, what's still left to do? Can you build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? Sure. Just ask the ship's replicators to. Oh yeah. Well, maybe someone here knows how. <laughs> do you have any wire? All my tools are still on the ship. You're good with electronics, right? Well, the ship used to fix its own wiring using robots. So I never oh. needed to learn how, unfortunately. Okay. Do you have an extra radiation suit? I'd give you I'm the shirt off my back, this son. Guy is, uh, but it doesn't block radiation, useless. I'm afraid. Do you know where we can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? No, but those are pretty big. If there's one around, you should be able to see it. Unless someone were hiding it. Don't worry, Dad. I've got this under control. <laughs> That's my boy. Okay. Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation yeah, Dandelion more story was not expose. what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? What were they up to? What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work of the Thrushmaster. The head of Operation Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? Well, that's kind of the idea of a, a secret operative. Dad, did you know we weren't in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. In my nightly maintenance patrols of the ship's exterior, I found many anomalies I couldn't explain. Sorry I treated you and Mom like machines. Oh, yeah, oh you didn't them. all the time, son. Until you turned 13, we didn't annoy you at all. Plus, you can make up for it by helping us get your mother off that ship. Okay. I'm going to see what I can find out. Okay, I'm going to stay here and gather my thoughts. You do that. Oh, actually, we can show Alex the drew schematic, schematic for a superconductive to that gyroscopic guy. Hypercam. Now, if I just knew what... Hey. Do you think you could help me make a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? That looks like a... Yes. Yes, if... If I weren't choking. Okay. <laughs> right, so we're gonna have to go... I need that wire from her, so we need to find... Have I got anything else that's a hook? Could I give her a grabbing Gary or something? He could go catch the fish. Filthy, lousy, sadistic... Oh dear. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? Yeah. A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. <laughs> it's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. 
Who wouldn't like that? People who aren't trees. Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. Mm. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... <laughs> Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think... Get soap. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, I'm that's a, a subject tree. that never <laughs> resonated with me. Resin. Oh, good one. Sap, get it. <laughs> yeah. Tree jokes joke. are the best. Have you seen a mad looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. <laughs> Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collected in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree well, jokes are hard. You can leave. Le le leave. I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's, it's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. You don't say. Never seen one of those before. Right, can we get a sample don't of it? I don't see anything there I want to eat. Uh, I guess not. So we've done all the talking we can with Any that. Any talking that trees dude. over here? No? Good. I can hear you. <laughs> Let's go uh, talk to uh, Mr. Wheaton. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? From the future. My mom knit it for me. In space. Right. <laughs> hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. Okay, what are you making what are you there, making Curtis? There? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know... It was getting all trendy. And the tree started talking, and there was no <laughs> money in it, so I got into metal. Metal, excellent. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever, but my kit just arrived today, so I've been like hardcore for about six hours. Six hours, yeah. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first <sighs> cat. Collectible diecast miniature. Excellent. Oh. That's so cute. Cute? <laughs> hmm. Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard, but it looks more like a kitten reading a book. <laughs> Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? I think you may have done, my friend. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. The idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat, I don't know if I'm ever going to get a new mold. Mm. Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Well, we have to ask where the ladder goes, what even is that though we already know. On your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm. Huh. Not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. Yeah, <laughs> had a thing. Do you order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like... I'm in the cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. 
Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Later, Shader. That's uh, interesting. What's this then? Is this boarded up for fire safety or something? Uh, yeah, safety. Never know when an inspector's gonna show up. <laughs> Is this boarded up for uh, fire safety or something? The same. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. So we can't. Oh, we can see painting. Your paintings are all ripped up. Yeah, that was a different me who did that. I'm much more calm now that I'm working with metal. <laughs> Let's hope so. Home metallurgy kit. Make money without leaving your home. That's the new plan, man. I'm cashing in, selling out. Just until I get some money saved, of course. You know, then I'm gonna go right back to doing that whole integrity thing. <laughs> uh, what else we got on the walls? Anything? We're missing Looks axe. like your axe is missing. I don't use axes anymore. Now I make the axes. Uh, well, I mean I will, once I get the mold. Anything else down here? Not a whole lot. Bless this mess. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah. Me too. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out Meriloft then. Phew, now that was a ladder. Whoa, check out these crazy clouds. Yeah. Apparently I don't seem to have problems walking on them. Okay, for there you're doing great. You built the new ladder, you got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I... Uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I... I... No, 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 don't cry. Whatever you do. <laughs> I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, uh, let's climb up. Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? Mm, not quite. I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. See, nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second, what's happening? Darn it, he looked so light. Uh, help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <laughs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything a hundred percent, you know? Okay. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Uh... Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa, what are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. <laughs> I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, I think we just found out how uh, how his thing floats. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you could stand on? Well, yeah, it's a ladder. Look. Why don't you climb up the rest of the ladder? Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost yeah. like a new crust. You I know? feel your pain, man. And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. <laughs> okay, see you later. <sighs> okay. For there. Hello? Can you rescue harm me now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Can you untie that bow on Harm Knee's cloud? Why would I do that? Because... There we go. So we can use it to make a rescue harness for him. Great idea! 